So you're interested in starting a niche collection, but you just have no idea where to start. Well, maybe I might have some tips for you. If you're interested, please keep watching. Before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you decided to come back, big up your whole self. Now, please take a moment, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you'll know every single time I upload. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video because it really helps your girl, really helps out the channel. All right, let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna start with my scent of the day. So my scent of the day today is Jo Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. I love this fragrance. I love this fragrance on me. I love this fragrance on him. <laughs> it's a gorgeous fragrance. So as the name suggests, you know, it's like a resinous kind of sweet, fragrance. So there's the, the note of myrrh, there's some vanilla, there's some tonka bean, but in the opening you get some lavender. So for me this is like a really classy, you know, borderline bossy for, for a woman because it's this is definitely unisex. It's right down the middle. But I love it. When I, I do try to wear it in the cooler months because it could get a, lot, a little much when it's too hot. When I wear this fragrance it lasts on my skin. It really performs, unlike, you know, some of the other Jo Malone bottles. Um, gives me about six, seven hours on the skin. I definitely overspray and I do have the um, the body lotion. So this is my scent of the day, Myrrh and Tonka from the house of Jo Malone. So you're at a point in your fragrance journey that, you know, you've been wearing designer fragrances or celebrity fragrances and you want to delve into the niche realm. Well, you know, sometimes that can be a little scary because niche is niche for a reason. Some fragrances are like super challenging. You're wondering why anybody's going to want to put that on their skin. But today we're going to talk about fragrances that I believe are a nice ease from a designer into niche. So they're not challenging niche fragrances. They're like just a little step up from the designer realm. So I kind of broke them down in little categories and um, that's how we're gonna do, it, do that today. So I wanna say that my first niche fragrance purchase was, it was not a blind buy. I actually went into the store and I was smelling and I'm like, ooh. And my first niche purchase was Baccarat Rouge 540. I know this one is, you know, so controversial, so polarizing. People hate it. People say sometimes it smells like um, a medicine cabinet. I don't know. I love the fragrance. I like that airy, burnt sugar kind of vibe from this fragrance. Now, I don't believe, like, I don't really think that this is, you know, one of the fragrances for the list. I just have this fragrance just to tell you that this was my first niche purchase. And from that day to now, I am still enjoying Baccarat Rouge 540. As overplayed or duplicated as this fragrance is, I still enjoy it and I still pull for it. So that's BR 540 from MFK. Okay, so the first fragrance I want to talk about today is one that I put into the everyday category. And a good fragrance that I believe fits into that category is right here. This is Valaya from the house of Parfums de Marly. Valaya is no stranger to the channel. As you can see, I use this bad boy <laughs> all the time. I love it. I do believe that it's a great entry into niche fragrance. Um... It's like fruity, it's aldehydic, it's sweet, it's like, ooh, just really, really feminine, I find. Like it's it's somewhat like angelic, I don't know, clean, all the things. So there's white peach, there's orange blossom, like I said, there's aldehydes. In the base, there's musk and there's akigala wood. This fragrance 
you know, it gets a lot of flack. Everybody says, oh, it's not worth the money, blah, 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 blah. You know, it smells like laundry detergent. I don't think so. I really do believe that this is a great everyday fragrance. The performance is amazing. Um, and it smells really pleasant. So if you're not, you know, trying to get into the heavy, crazy world of niche fragrances, this is a good, a good start for you. This is a really nice entry fragrance. So this is Velaya from the house of Parfums de Marly. So the next fragrance I have here is for people, for someone that's looking for um, a citrusy kind of marine kind of fresh kind of vibe. And this one I'm speaking of is from the house of Clive Christian. And this is Crab Apple Blossom. Now this fragrance is not cheap. It's a pricey fragrance, but you know, you could always get it um, for a discount somewhere. So this one has sea notes. There's bergamot in the opening. There's mojito. For me, what I get and from this fragrance is just like something really fresh um, and clean. Um, I really don't get any apple. I don't, I'm not sure if there's supposed to be apple in it, but I do get kind of like a sour note. Well, I don't know if that's like a green apple or if that's like a rhubarb. But it's like one of those fragrances that I feel like it's easy, easy to wear, a nice, fresh, um, clean, salty kind of vibe fragrance. So this is a fragrance that I typically would wear when it's warmer. I would wear it out to run errands. It's not something that's super long lasting or beast mode. It gives me about four hours on the skin, but it's definitely light and airy and refreshing when I do wear it. So this is Crab Apple Blossom from the house of Clive Christian. Okay, so everybody needs when you're starting your collection, your niche collection or whichever collection, you need a nice, delicious vanilla. And the niche vanilla that I chose which in my collection that's the easiest to love and the most versatile is this one right here is Escapade Garmand from Maison Mataha. Now, if you want to smell like creme brulee, oh my gosh, this is sugar cane, sweet like sugar cane. What you guys know about this song? Not much. But yes, this is sugar cane, there's vanilla, there's tonka bean, I think there's some musk in the base. Just delicious, really easy fragrance to love. It's not like a spicy vanilla or like a really complex vanilla that takes you on a ride. This is a nice, delicious, straightforward forward vanilla. This is lang, lang. This is long lasting. <laughs> nice projection, nice sillage, and it's one of the fragrances that I find to be really comforting and enveloping. It's a really delicious vanilla and it gets all the hype in these fragrance streets for good reason. So this is Escapade Gourmand from Maison Mataha. Okay, so everybody wants like a flirty fragrance, you know, when you're feeling like flirtatious and, you know, fun. Here's my pick. It's Pink Me Up from the house of Atelier des Ours. This fragrance, okay, the bottle, we know this bottle and we love the bottle with all the gold flakes, but the fragrance itself is so gorgeous. It's so feminine, it's flirty, it's bubbly. It smells almost like a kind of soda-ish vibe. So this is for when you're not trying to take yourself too seriously and you just want to go about your day just happy-go-lucky. That's the vibe it gives me. So there's bergamot, there's black, there's blackberry, there's rose, and I think there's a champagne note, yep. But it's not like the champagne in Dom Rosa. Let me tell y'all, Dom Rosa was a quick in and out of my collection. Yeah, it was too much for me. Too much. But pink me up, whole different story. And then there's like a musky kind of powdery base. Now, does this fragrance last forever? No, it gives me about six hours on the skin with me overspraying. And I'll overspray, I'll continue to overspray because I love the smell of this fragrance. It makes me so happy. It's like a, when you spray, you feel almost like you got bubbles in your mouth or something. I don't know how to explain it, but Pink Me Up from the house of Atelier des Ours. Beautiful, beautiful, fun, flirty fragrance that's really easy to love. I really think that this is a nice beginner fragrance when you're getting into that niche world, for sure.
So this one here is a pick, my pick for when you're looking for something just like sweet and easy to wear. And right here is Changing Constance from the house of Penn Halligans. Now this fragrance, I don't like the bottle. I don't like these bottles. Don't shoot me, I don't like the bottles. But I do like the juice. Now this fragrance is like a, to me it's like a salty kind of caramel kind of vibe. It's sweet, it's delicious. Mm, there's caramel in there, there's vanilla, there's tonka bean. Oh, it's so, so good. Yeah, really easy to wear. It's sweet, but it's not cloyingly sweet. I feel like you could pull this off all year round, to be honest. Um, you know, just depends on how you spray. Yeah, this one is not one that's challenging. Well, maybe besides the bottle. <laughs> but it's not a challenging fragrance, in my opinion. It's sweet. Like I said, straightforward. There's some salty notes. It's like a sweet and salty, like, um, you know, like salted caramel. Yeah, that's how I feel when I wear this. That's, that's the vibe I get from this fragrance. So this is Changing Constance from the house of Penhaligans. Now, in terms of projection, sillage, performance, you know, I would say all of that is moderate. It's moderate. Gives me, yeah, a decent amount of time on my skin. Maybe four to five hours. Sometimes six, it depends, but changing constants from the house of Penhaligon. Okay, so the next fragrance I want to talk about is one that, you know, it kind of fits that clean girl aesthetic. You know, you want to be effortless. You just want to smell pretty. And this is Must Therapy from the house of Initio Parfums. So this fragrance is like, just like it says, it's musky. So there's white musk, there's regular musk. It's just a musky. There's some fruits in here. Um, I think bergamot maybe. But there are some white florals I, like magnolia. Magnolia is in here. Yeah, so this one is like a really light, airy, like I said, effortless. It's definitely not a fragrance that lasts forever on your skin. Gives me maybe four hours at best. Um, sillage projection, quite minimal. I just stay in my little scent bubble. You know, it's like a nice, you know, you wake up on a Sunday morning and you take a shower and you just spray yourself down. You got to, you know, maybe you're going to church. Maybe you got a couple errands to run. It's just a really light, airy fragrance. Really nice for the warmer months. Um, it's not doing too much. And some, I mean, your fragrance does not have to do too much every single time. Okay? So this one right here is Must Therapy from the house of Initio Parfums. Okay, so my next pick is like for the girls that love like the fruity floral fragrances. And my pick right here is Roses Greedy from the house of Mansara. So like the name suggests, it's it's basically rose dominant. But in the opening, there's like a ton of fruits. There's peach, there's coconut, there's mandarin orange. In the middle, you have some jasmine. And in the base, there's some vanilla, there's some amber, there's some musk. Just really effortless fragrance, but you have to love roses and you have to love um, florals. So if you're not into a floral fragrance, this is not the one for you. But if you are and you're looking for something that's not designer, I feel like this is a really good, this is a step in the right direction. In terms of performance, this gives me eight plus hours on the skin. Projection, um, sillage, I would say moderate. Um, but yeah, it's Mansara, so you know how that goes. It lasts forever. But yeah, Roses Greedy from the house of Mansara. Yummy, very pretty fragrance if, you know, a good, good fragrance getting into the niche world. For absolutely sure. And the cap is magnetic. <laughs> what else can you ask for? Last but not least, let's talk sexy. Let's talk about a fragrance that I believe is a sexy fragrance, but it's easy to like. And the one I picked here is from the house of Bond number no. nine, and this is a Nomad. Nomad from the house of Bond number no. nine. This fragrance is sexy, y'all. Trust me, it's sexy. So it opens with, it's pretty fruity in the opening. There's kinks, there's um, pear, and then in the middle, there's like rose and oud, but this oud is so smooth. And that, I feel like that's where the sexiness is coming from. That sexiness is coming from that oudy kind of woody with the rose. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. And in the base, there's some vanilla that kind of 
definitely gives it a little bit of sweetness, but this is not a sweet fragrance by any means, by no stretch of the imagination. To me, this is a sexy, alluring, just come hither kind of fragrance. Yep, bond number nine is Nomad. Now, when I wear this, I get seven plus hours on the skin. Compliment grabber. Not a compliment snatcher. It grabs compliments. There's a difference. <laughs> But I enjoy wearing this fragrance. It's a sexy fragrance to me. I've worn it to work a couple times, but it's a fragrance that I like to pull out. You know, date night, you're doing something special or whatever. But um, definitely a fragrance that's easy to love. Definitely that it's something that shouldn't be off-putting for a niche beginner. So Nomad from the house of Bond Number 9 New York. This is your sexy gal. Sexy, sexy gal for your new niche collection. Okay y'all, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I picked fragrances that I know, although they're niche, they're easy to love because still in my fragrance journey, when I'm exploring um, different houses and I'm like, okay, so why would somebody wanna smell like this? You know, my nose isn't there yet. So I thought this, this would be a great video for someone that's trying to get into niche. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram. And remember, you can be whatever you want to be in this world. But in the meantime, while you're trying to get there, you're persevering, you're working hard. Even if you're there, smell like good people. Smell fabulous at all times. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>